Are you looking for ways to protect yourself and your loved ones against deadly viruses? Stay tuned as we share to you the nature's weapon to kill viruses. Welcome back to Arts with MC. As promised, we will share to you in this video the facts about nature's weapon to kill the superbugs. And that is copper. Copper is deadly to viruses and bacteria, kahit pa sa pinahamatinding virus like COVID-19. Copper attack virus like grenade. It hits hard, fast, and in multiple places. It can destroy the whole virus including its DNA. And this process is called contact killing. Dahil it happens when the virus touches the surface of copper. Copper releases positive ions na naa-attract naman sa negative ions ng virus na nasa loob nito. This attraction of positive and negative ions will create holes in virus membrane. Once the membrane is damaged, copper and oxygen produces high-energy molecules called hydroxyl radicals. Ito ang pumapasok sa loob ng virus and destroy all its interior molecules including its DNA. Kaya for the longest time, hindi makapag-develop ang virus and bacteria ng resistance sa copper kasi patay pati ang DNA nila kapag inatake sila nito. Compared naman sa mga antibiotics, antibiotics works like an arrow. It aims only a particular weak spot ng virus to kill it. And it doesn't destroy the DNA totally. Kaya in time, nakakapag-mutate ang virus and bacteria and become an antibiotic resistant. And some mutate fast, faster than we can develop antibiotics. Kaya sa sobrang bilis, naka-lockdown tayo ngayon. Dahil sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, health experts are now recommending to use copper in common touch areas, especially sa hospitals at sa general public places. Ang mga halimbawa dito ay ang doorknobs, railings, faucets, at hospital beds. They also develop copper film para sa elevator buttons, reusable masks with copper fiber. People are now turning back again to ancient medical arsenal from nature, ang copper. Yes, you heard it right. From ancient time pa, gamit na ng mga tao ang copper to disinfect. They clean their wounds, swords, hands, and feet with water stored in a copper vessels. Katunayan, it was written in papyrus in Egypt's oldest medical text, mentioning the record of copper used to sterilize chest wounds and to sterilize drinking water. And it was also written to one of the oldest and most reliable book in the world, the Bible. Israelites are commanded by God to use laver or basin made of bronze, a copper alloy, to wash their hands and feet. Surely, copper is good for us. It's not only recommended by medical experts, most of all, by God. We can get so much more from copper, aside from protection from virus and bacteria, like weight loss, prevent premature aging, boost our immune system, and a lot more. Kaya stay there cause we have more facts to share with you. Alam nyo ba na ang third most abundant trace minerals in our bodies is copper? At essentially to sa production ng energy sa ating katawan. Remember, copper is a great conductor of energy and it is also true inside our body. Dahil dito, napakarami nating makukuwang health benefits sa copper. Iron Absorption Copper's energy helps our body to metabolize iron. And with iron and copper together, it helps our body to produce more red blood cells. With more red blood cells that flows inside our body, this means mas lumalakas ang immune system natin. Copper also boosts our sugar and fats metabolism. Ang result? Weight loss. Together with zinc, copper produces a strong and most crucial antioxidant called superoxide dismutase. And this antioxidant deactivates the most dangerous and cancer-causing free radicals called superoxide radicals. Copper helps prevent cancer. And this antioxidant from copper are not just protecting ourselves from free radicals. It also boosts our cells' energy to produce more protein like collagen and elastin that gives our skin youthful look. You got it right. 
copper has an anti-aging effect. At ito pa, copper's energy boosts production of melanin that helps our skin immunity and maintain the black color of our hair, eyes, and skin. It helps prevent and cure vitiligo disease. At marami pang health benefits ang copper. It keeps our bones stronger and helps prevent osteoporosis. It also have anti-inflammatory properties that reduce the symptoms of arthritis and helps heal wounds faster. It also prevent hypertension or high blood pressure. It also help cures heart rhythm disorder or arrhythmias. It is also involved in our brain development and activities. With all of these health benefits, our next vital question is, how much copper does our body need? The recommended daily allowance for adult male and female is 900 micromilligrams. The maximum limit for adult age 19 years old and above is 10,000 micromilligrams or 10 milligrams a day. Above this level could be toxic and you must ask for your doctor's advice if you have a liver and kidney problems or if you're taking penicillin oral contraceptive, and hormonal replacement therapy. But if you don't have these issues, you can enjoy the right amount of copper. Here are the list of food that are good source of copper. Number one, seashells like oyster, mussels, crabs, and lobsters. Number two, organ meat like liver. Number three, legumes like beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils, peanuts, and tamarind. Please take note that copper content can be lost in prolonged storage in cans and high acid preservatives. Don't take legumes in can if you want copper benefits. Number four, vegetables and fruits like leafy greens, avocado, asparagus, shiitake mushroom, and dark chocolate. Number five, Supplements like spirulina. Aside from food, you can also take stored water in copper vessels. To do this, just store water in a copper vessel for 8 to 12 hours and drink 2 to 3 cups a day. You can also use copper utensils and cookwares. When in use, copper releases iron that mix with our food and water. It cleanses our water and food from harmful bacteria and viruses when we do this. Another way to use copper, keep it near to your skin. Use a pendant or upper arm bracelet. This procedure had a good history of protecting our body from harmful bacteria and viruses. Proof is what happened in 1854 to 1855 cholera outbreak in Paris. People who work at copper mining work as jewelers, boiler makers, was not infected while many people in their community died. Even the musicians who use instrument with copper was spared from the plague. Kaya keeping a copper near to our skin is a wise idea, especially now. Thanks for staying up to this part of our video. We hope you appreciate copper even more and most especially the word of God that teaching us to use copper even from the time people don't know about the viruses and bacteria. If you appreciate this video, please share it to your friends and loved ones. We also love to read your comments down below and please don't forget to click like, bell, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!